so good to be here today, joined by the Reverend Martin Hobgen, who's here today to talk to us about the important issue of what church can feel like for people who are disabled. Martin, could you introduce yourself to us? Hello, I'm the Reverend Martin Hobgen. I'm a Baptist minister who spent 12 years in pastorate in Coventry and then has spent time doing PhD studies at Northern Baptist College and Manchester University. Um, my thesis was on how to foster friendships that enable the better inclusion of physically disabled people in Baptist church communities. I'm now currently looking to write up my thesis uh, as a book and seeking settlement in a Baptist church. So tell us, what does church mean to you? Um, at its best, the church is the place where I am able to be known as an individual person and not defined by my use of a wheelchair. Um, my relationship with God is the most important element of who I understand myself to be. My use of a wheelchair comes below my identity as a husband, as a brother, a friend or a minister. Many of my closest friendships have been formed within the church community. I've been supported by churches in responding to a call to ordained ministry and have been active within association and within Baptists together. There have, however, occasionally been times when I have uh, experienced actions and attitudes that have excluded me. Being told, for instance, we have a place for people like you is not exactly the most welcoming experience when you first arrive at a church. There has also seemed to be some reluctance among churches to call a disabled person to be a minister of a local congregation. So what can churches feel like for disabled people? Churches can be places of welcome, support and empowerment for disabled people. There is some evidence, however, from recent research that many disabled people find churches to be places where they're excluded physically, socially and theologically. While many physical barriers to inclusion can be overcome and have been overcome, the social and theological barriers can be harder to address. Disabled people report that they may be defined by their disability or assumed to be only passive members of a congregation rather than wanting and able to be engaged in the life of the congregation and ministry of the church. The linking of disability to the fall, to unforgiven sin and to a narrow focus on physical healing can be ways that some churches marginalise or exclude disabled people. Viewing disabled people as suffering saints is equally unhelpful. Both of these approaches to disability emphasise difference between disabled people and non-disabled people rather than emphasising on what they have in common, which is primarily a relationship with God. And what can churches do to help people who are disabled feel more welcome? Well, much has been done in recent years to make church buildings physically accessible. Assuming that churches are able to make these adjustments, one of the most significant things that can be done is to treat disabled people as people who, like all of us, are made in the image of God. I believe that there needs to be a fostering focus on fostering friendships between disabled and non-disabled people. Friendships between not disabled and non-disabled people which are intentionally inclusive emphasise mutuality and take into account particular contexts of the relationship can be significant ways of enabling the participatory inclusion of disabled people in Baptist church communities. And sometimes it's even the simplest things that make a difference, like saying, please stand if you're able to, rather than please stand when we are preparing to sing, that make a very significant difference. Is there anything else you'd like to say to our churches? It's clear from Jesus's teaching and parables that disabled people are fully included in the kingdom of God. Churches throughout history have been places of support and care for disabled people. 
And now church communities need to focus on fostering friendships with disabled people within and beyond the congregations so that disabled people are fully included in the life of the church and disabled people in local communities see churches as welcoming, empowering and inclusive rather than disempowering and excluding them. The active inclusion of disabled people is not just an issue of justice, but it enables the church to fulfil its mission of enabling all to hear and respond to the gospel. Martin, thank you so much for joining us and for all your helpful thoughts and comments. Mm -hmm.